Well, it's, oh, nice. Okay. Oh, then. Chris usually wins this matchup. Kroby is the mess. Kroby is not that. So then Chris lied to me in, when he said he was port one. <laughs> I think he, he did he did tell a fib. What kind of character specific like, thing do you want from someone who hasn't played the game? You are. <laughs> nice recovery. There. <laughs> oh my god. Good. Yo yo does kind of shut down Falcon's recovery option. And I feel like Falcon has a tough time exploring the best recovery. Uh. More so than some of the other characters, I should say. Again, I've never really found it difficult, like, risky or anything, but, I don't know, let's see. Maybe some situations will arise. It's a lot of fear, though. There we go, he had no problem there. Yeah, he was very close. That should be free, no matter who you are. Nice DI to the top platform. Ah, back throw? What are you doing? What are you doing? Can't beat the head. Good DI. Yeah, I feel like Chris is really good at like mixing up his recoveries too. That float in is Oh nice, the double. Yeah, that was real nice. Just yep, yeah, okay. Stole that from me. See, like I feel like that was an easy edge guard. Like he has to go. So the position um, where Ness starts his up B gives away everything. Um, he's not going to be close to the stage like that and go high because of his terrible um, fall special and how much lag there is. So he's either gonna try to sweet spot the ledge or he's gonna try to get a perfect land on the stage. So the question becomes, do you want to hang on the ledge and try to beat out the perfect land? Or do you hang on stage and just, like if he gets the ledge, he gets the ledge, but you're covering perfect no matter what. I personally would uh, stay on stage to cover perfect land because it is harder and you're more likely to get punished off the perfect land than Ness getting on the ledge. Ness isn't exactly terrifying off the ledge like Pikachu, so I'd rather him there. One wrong move and he's dead, you know? Good down tilt. Yeah, that was nice for Groby. See if Groby can put this away. Had the opportunity. Oh, the hands. Uh -oh. Ah, that's probably it. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, baby. Nice recovery. There we go. Ah, he blew it. Yeah, that's it. Oh, he has another stock. What the hell? What the hell was I? Like? Nice. Forward air. Perfect land. <laughs> oh. So you have to, like, you live with the ledge, but do something, you know? That's gonna be hard. No! Either Falcon kick. Go. Either Falcon kick or. I mean, he was, what, just above the side platform? Recovered to the top plat. 
Ooh, that's tough. Free for all. Yes. I'm not sure, Josh, if when you touch the ground and slide as Ness, how long the uh, the hitbox stays out. I'm not up to date on my frame data anymore. I don't care enough. Ness is reckless with his DJC entries, you can just, like, up smash or even pivot up smash. But, uh, Kringle's doing a good job of being in a good range. Here we go. Just talk. It's so simple. If Krovi attacks a shielding Kringle here... Okay, he's doing a good job. Like, a lot of people will push Ness off and then he can kind of like rush back with that DJC up air or down air or something and just get an easy grab. But... Yeah, that's tough. Krovi opting to... He's continuing to go for the ledge instead of like... Pulling back and trying to get as high up as he can. I don't know. I, I feel like Kroby's kind of playing into Chris's hand. It seems like Chris wants to play him on the ledge. I feel like Kroby needs to play him more in the middle of the stage. He does, or exploit some ledge stuff better. Like, yeah. if you're going to play Ness at the ledge, cool, you can do it, but you can't be reckless. That's good. Here we go. Up there, up there, up there. Ah. Ooh. I think it should have been either a plat drop up here or a short help up here. I don't know. Wait. Top 8, best of 5. Got it. <laughs> Thank you, Jason. Okay, let's see if we can get this reverse 3-0. Oh, nice. Good. Good DI, but doesn't matter. Shocking. Good DI from Grovey. Mm. Trouble. Ness's Nair is very interesting because it doesn't, um, the hitbox is active throughout the move. It, it doesn't have cooldown frames, is what I should say. Oh, you're dead. It might be the only move of its kind like that, save for projectiles. I'm not sure, I'm not entirely sure though. What was that? Ness's na uh, Nair doesn't have cooldown frames. Like, the hitbox is out from, you know, like frame 14 all the way to the end or whatever. Huh. Can't believe he got Wow. Well, Kroby's uh, uh, turning around. Let's see if he can close this one out. Oh, hey, look, it's me. Yeah, that's easy punish. Up there. Ah. See, like... That's what I'm saying. If, if Ness is doing some ledge stuff, if he's doing that, uh... Like, run off, and then come back on with a DJC, you can trade with a forward smash. 
there's no reason to go for a grab or an aerial. Like, just throw out the forward smash and... I mean, you can even just up smash it, I'm pretty sure. Um, the yes, but... The trade will be beneficial if Falcon's at low percent. Well, well yeah, I mean, that's true all the time, isn't it? <laughs> but I'm, like, in terms of, uh, like, knockback, I would rather trade... If Ness is on the... is doing weird ledge stuff, um, I would rather trade with a forward smash than with an up smash. Because at least he's off stage. I guess, yeah. Ness above you, like you're you're risking a down air or something, you know. Nice. A little movement. Do you ever mean to up smash, Kringle? Or are those um, I, I usually do, yeah, because it is actually a decent anti-air when, like, in, like, a situation where um, up tilt would work as an anti-air. <laughs> Got it. See, like, right there, why go for an aerial? You know, Ness is running off stage, just trade with a forward smash. It doesn't even matter that Ness is at zero, either. Like, it's gonna... Ne or... Falcon's forward smash is so strong. Thank you, Mongola. Five, five to the end. I would have nared. Ah. Okay, here we go. Oh, Kringle. Oh, nice. Why do you have to be boring? <laughs> it's mean, because it's Falcon and because it's Kroby's DI. Yeah, but he just jumped off with a falcon punch. You knew he gave up after that. Yeah, rule number seven yeah. is no excuse to play like a champion. <laughs> I took that to heart.